Fractora is this machine right here. And it has a little tip on it that's housed with needles, but the needles are also housed with radio frequency. So what that means or what this procedure is for is it's to stimulate collagen. One of the reasons we age is collagen breaks down and we cannot regenerate it on our own unless we do something to stimulate it. So these needles, which are also housed with radio frequency, which is heat, so you're kind of getting a double whammy of collagen stimulation, one with the needles and one with the heat. So that's gonna really bump up that collagen stimulation. So it's kind of like aerating and seeding the face in a way. So I'm gonna aerate with the needles. Um, it takes days and weeks for that collagen to begin to build up. So it is recommended to do a series of three of these Fractora treatments based about every four to six weeks apart. So this is um, this patient's third treatment. So she's already had two and this is her last one. So we're gonna get started. She's had numbing cream on her face for 45 minutes. I have already removed it from the forehead. And so now we're gonna start with the forehead. As I proceed through the treatment, I take the numbing cream off as I move forward in the procedure. That way she stays nice and numb through the whole treatment. So I just press with pressure and you may see little droplets of blood, but as you can see, she's not uncomfortable because she has had some nice numbing cream sitting on her face for 45 minutes. So that little ding that you're hearing as I'm initiating that radio frequency part of the treatment, the heat, So after the treatment is completed, I go all the way down the neck. I will put a light layer of aquaphor over her face and neck, and she has to have that on for two days post-treatment as well as no makeup. So when I am done, she will look like she's got a nice sunburn, kind of look and feel like a sunburn. But the nice thing about the treatment is there's really no huge downtime. So she's not gonna have sheets of skin falling off look weird. She'll be red for a few hours after this. And then by this evening, she may be only pink to the next morning, just a few areas of pinkness. So I've changed the tip and it's finer needles. So we go back over the areas to get just an added perk of the treatment. Um, I will concentrate this even more so around the eyes where we get the little crow's feet and the more crepey skin underneath around the mouth where we get the fine lines and wrinkles, the little vertical lines. Um, this is where this comes in really handy too. So I'm going back over her again. 